So after uh, a week and some days from now came out the new Judas Priest album, the new release that uh, many metalheads, maybe most of the metalheads in the world, uh, they expect this release. I'm speaking about Invisible Silk of uh, the British heavy metalheads, of course, one of the iconic metal bands heavy metal bands of all the ages from the 70s until today they are here and they make so great albums my personal opinion is that uh, many very good uh, and big bands of the past like for example my beloved iron maiden maybe also metallica megadeth and so on and so on uh, bands with these great names today they don't have to give uh, so maybe uh, the best albums that they made maybe they were in their prime was more or less in the 80s some of them in the 70s or in the 80s and today what we expect from them that they will uh, uh, continue to make uh, uh, but albums that they are not uh, going to destroy their myth, their uh, very good name of the past. But there are some old bands that not only we don't have to afraid about it or to worry about it, but every new album is so good as before. For example, Judas Priest, for example, Accept, or for example, Saxon from England. So, in reality, Invisible Silt is so good, like, like in the old days of, uh, I think I can say, of uh, Painkiller, some people will say that, uh, and maybe I will agree a little bit, that uh, Firepower, the album of 2018, it was a little bit more, um, I like it a little bit more and, and than this album, but... Uh, I can say that Invisible Silt is uh, the physical, uh, the physical next step after Firepower. So both of these albums they are great and they uh, they can say we can say that they they protect the name of Judas Priest. Uh, this is one thing and I think that uh, not uh, is a, is they, they have to be a very good example for all the other big uh, bands of the past. Together with this, because uh, many people in the beginning they were afraid, also before Firepower, they were afraid after KK uh, left the band, what will be with uh, Judas Priest? And also I, I can say that the band of KK today by the name KK's Priest is also a very good band with very good uh, uh, releases. For example, this is the, la the, the album of uh, 2023 by the name The Sinner Writes Again. And also this album is so good uh, with uh, R Reaper Owens, Owens in the vocals. It's so good uh, like today's Judas Priest. So today we have two bands, two styles of Judas Priest. Judas Priest, the original, and of course, KK's Priest. This is something that I, I, I could say about uh, Judas. Uh, together with that, I have to say something else also. Some metalheads in the world, they continue to be uh, only with these great bands. Uh, of the 80s. There are some guys that will listen only Metallica, only Megadeth, only Slayer, uh, only Iron Maiden, only To the Space, only Black Sabbath, only Deep Purple, etc. 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 But we have to know that to today we, you can find, when we can find new, new bands and new albums that they are great from all the genres, all the, all the, inside all the scene of rock and metal of all the genres and yes also today we have very good metal in every aspect for example 
I, I discovered in these days a great American band of doom stoner metal. I can say that they are even more stone, uh, they are even more uh, doom, doom, with Black Sabbath influences uh, in their music, of course. And they have this a little bit uh, an occult rock uh, character in some things, they are a little bit theatrical. So they, they, they took some things from Ghost and from uh, Alice Cooper and from King Diamond, Merciful Fate, only not in the music, even more in, uh, in their theatrical uh, way that they play. Uh, but the music is Doom, is Doom of Black Sabbath, but they are great, great. And I'm speaking about a new band by the name Castle Rat, with a uh, front woman, and uh, the front woman also is the leader of the band, if I'm not sure, not also the, least, the lead guitarist of the band. And you have to find them. They will make, they will, uh, uh, their, their debut album will come out in April uh, by the name Into the Realm, Castle Rat, a great band. Also, uh, together with this, I, I, I will speak about another also a front female fronted doom stoner band from United States that I'm speaking about Heavy Temple with this album by the name Lupi Amoris of 2021 also the same way doom stoner metal with uh, female vocals great bands but my suggestion if someone does know them he has to find Castle Rat and their new album that will that will will be released in one month from now, more or less, into the realm. For me, one of the discoveries of 2024. So, this is about also the new release of Judas of Judas Priest from Israel and from Jerusalem. Stay metal, stay heavy.